The government had a messy clean-up job on its hands today to unwind an entrenchment clause in the controversial Three Waters Bill. But while the government has admitted it made a mistake, no one is taking responsibility. Political editor Jenna Lynch has more. Clean up on aisle three waters. A mistake was made and we're fixing it. Parliament voted to entrench public ownership of water assets in the Three Waters legislation. Entrenchment usually requires a supermajority, 75% of MPs. This was passed with just 60%, redefining entrenchment. What well, was a dangerous precedent in terms of our democracy? Entrenchment is usually only used for matters of electoral importance, like voting. Multiple things that contribute to mistakes being made, and as far as I've ascertained, that is what's happened in this case. Today we have the grovelling back down. But the stain on our democracy, the damage to our constitution, will remain. Multiple people knew or should have known about the 60% threshold the minister in charge of the bill, along with at least six Labour members of the committee that considered it. But the message didn't get through. I was not aware that the, the, we were going to vote in favour of a 60% entrenchment clause. National questioning what on earth happened. Why was it that the minister did not recognise that this was a mistake? So what exactly occurred to lead to this screw-up? No one will say who told who, what or how it happened. Not the leader. Caucus discussions, as a general rule of thumb, we don't discuss publicly. Not the leader of the House. I'm not going to comment on caucus conversations. Not the whip who cast the vote. The issue was discussed at caucus, and I'm really happy that I absolutely cast my vote in accordance with the wishes of caucus. Not the minister in charge of the bill. You personally, did you inform your caucus about say, 60%? The conversations in caucus remain in caucus. I understand you didn't, is that correct? Is it acceptable that neither Minister Mahuta nor any other minister failed to tell her about the entrenchment provision before her government passed it. Uh, Mr Speaker, I refer to every public statement that I've made on this matter. The Prime Minister covering for her, claiming collective culpability. We're taking this as a team. We voted for it as a team. We're fixing it as a team. A team of 64 and not a single one to blame. Kia ora, Jenna. So how embarrassing is this back down for Labour? Humiliating. The government has been on the attack, coming for Christopher Luxon and his many policy U-turns, and then ripped up the handbrake on the mother of all U-turns, having to take a piece of legislation back to the House to fix it. The difference, of course, is an opposition back down. The ramifications of that are slim to none, whereas for the government, this was a matter of constitutional importance. And Jenny, you've got an update about President Zelensky addressing our parliament. That's right. I understand it's still waiting. Final, final, final sign-off from the Ukrainians, but a day has been set for Volodymyr Zelensky to address the MPs here. It'll be the final sitting day of Parliament for the year, December the 14th, and they are extending hours out to 8am in a special sitting to hear from him. Political editor, General Lynch, live from Wellington, Nami Nui.